All right, y'all. Yo. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, families. My name is Chris Styles Bacon. Um, we're about to do this Discover Hip Hop performance right here. So look, I'm going to give you a little bit of time for you to get some stuff together, for you to um, tag your friends, tag your family, make sure they're in on this thing, and then getting down with all the performances and uh, things we're about to get into. And while that's happening, I want to give you some more information on what's going down. So, my friends, here we go. Morning announcements, opening announcements, just like you're in school. Here we go. All right, so look, my friends, welcome everyone to the Saturday Family Jam here, brought to you by Strathmore. All right, so my name is Chris Styles Bacon. So, all the Strathmore artists and residents are doing these things here for you all, okay? And so, I was a Strathmore artist and residence back in um, 2006, 2007. So, triple OG artist and resident right here. I right, so look, that's happening right there. That's how I got into the program and how long I've been a part of the Strathmore family. I right, so let's see. This is going to be happening every Saturday, every Saturday until the end of, oh, through, through the end of April, okay, on here, the Strathmore Facebook page. And then next week at Saturday, 10, 15 a.m., it's going to be Discover Still Pan with Josanne Francis. If you don't know Josanne Francis, she's amazing. Like, she plays Still Pan, which comes from Trinidad. And so you're going to get all the Caribbean music. And this woman is so talented, she could play even Bach pieces on her um, on her Still Pan. She's amazing. Isolate, if you have any questions for me as we're going along in this thing, I encourage you to write these things down, put them in the comment section, and we're going to address all the questions. If I don't get a chance to address it while we're on air right now, then I'll, I'll definitely address it after the fact. All right, so we have that happening. So, my friends, now I think we're about ready to go into some hip-hop. All right, so hip-hop, boom. All right, so look. My friends, I'm going to tell you the birth story of hip hop. But before I do that, I got to show you a little something that I know how to do as a result of hip hop. OK, All right, here we go. Let's listen on the water. All right, my friends, that right there, if you don't already know what that's called, that right there is called the beatbox, the human beatbox. And the human beatbox comes from hip hop music and hip hop culture. So look, hip hop is a style of music, yes, and it is also a whole cultural arts movement. Right? So we have five elements of hip hop, five elements. The first one is the first thing that came into creation. It's the DJ. 
I ain't so left. You know a DJ. These days you see a DJ, they have the headphones, but they only have one ear on right there. The other ear just listening to the people. And then they have these things that they're spinning. They turn these knobs and stuff like that. So look, the first DJ, the first DJ to create that created hip hop, he came from Jamaica. He was actually born in Jamaica. So he's not originally like an American citizen, but then moved and then now is, right? So that's that outside influence coming into the United States to make the United States amazing. The potpourri of all these people here contributing. All right, so look. So look, DJ Cool Herc came over here from Jamaica. In Jamaica, they have this whole culture of having these huge sound systems and playing parties and making everyone dance, okay? So when he came to the United States of America, he came in New York City. In New York City, man, he had these big speakers and all this, and he would DJ parties. So back in 1973, his sister had a birthday party in the South Bronx, I in the Soundview Projects. I so there, that was the birthplace of hip hop. It all started right there in the projects at his sister's birthday party. Why? Because he was DJing that birthday party and he noticed that when he played one part of this record, everyone would go crazy over this one part of the record. This part of the record is called a break. I, so that's when everything breaks down and then just the percussion is playing and everyone's dancing, okay? And so that's the break. So he was like, what if I took that break and made it longer and then people will go crazy throughout the whole party? So he brought two of the same records. And so he will wait for that break to happen. Boom, people start going crazy without fail. And then while that's happening, he had one ear because he's listening. He's listening to what's happening on the next record and the other ear is listening to what the first record is doing out of the speaker. So look, it's playing. People are going crazy. Meanwhile, he's playing attention. He's looping that record back around on the record player on the turntable and then he's ready. He has his finger on it ready to drop it as soon as that break stops. So when that break stops, boom, he lets it go again. So he's taking like this whole record that might sound like this. So um, let's say... And then next thing you know, he's syncing up the other record while people are going crazy. And then when that's done, there you go. All right, so people start going crazy. He extended the break. So then that's called a break, my friends. And then you have that's the first element of hip hop, DJing. Then after that, you have the birth of the second element of hip hop. So then there were dances. You ever heard of break dancing before? Think about it. Break dancing. So a break dancer or a B boy or a B girl, B stands for break. A break boy or B girl stands for break girl. So a break dancer is a is the name of a person who dances over the break. All right, so look, that's the second element of hip hop. The third element of hip hop, you have the rapper. All right, so look, the rapper wasn't even a big thing until a little later on. So look, this is how it happened. So you will have the original term for the rapper is the MC. All right, now MC means master of ceremony. It's an acronym, M and C, but now we spell it E M C E E. Okay, so look. My friends, MC stands for the master of ceremonies. If you go to any event, the master of the ceremony is the person who lets you know what's going on. And then they call names and announce things and make sure that the party and the event is moving and flowing. All right. So that's what that is. So, bam, you have the MC. All right. Now, then at that point over the music, the person is saying some little things, some little rhymes or whatever. And it's um, and it gets people excited. Right. And they call out certain people. Like, oh, yeah, I see you, Sarah Curran, over there on the comment section. I see you spread more on the comment section. All right. Like that. Right. So that right there is what the MC would do. I see you, Jenny, over there. Thank you so much for being awesome. See, that was, that's what the MC does. So then they will say like little raps and rhymes. Right. And then that became a larger job. And then after that, the, the term, the whole, the work for the MC became more and more and more. All right. And so, bam, that's the third element, MCing. All right. Now, the fourth one is graffiti. Graffiti, people use spray paint to create street art. You'll see it as murals and all that. People will do it on the trains and on buildings. It was it was kind of vandalism. So some parts of that wasn't really legal. But this whole thing evolved around the time um, of hip hop's creation too. So it kind of got like 
included in there as the cultural expression of hip hop. Then the fifth element is where I come in. I mean, I know how to rhyme, but my element comes in with beatboxing. So people couldn't afford instruments. I couldn't afford an instrument growing up. My mom was raising me, my older brother, my little sister by herself. We couldn't afford a drum set. So I had to become this drum set. So I'm gonna do a piece with you, okay? For you all. And I say with you all, cause I'm gonna need your help back there in your houses, okay? Here we go. I'm gonna say it's the beatbox. I need you to say it's the beatbox. All right, so it's gonna be like this. It's the beatbox. It's the beatbox. It's the beatbox. It's the beatbox. All right, so look, let's get that energy in all of our houses, okay? Or you can just say it in the comment section too, but you gotta like make sure that it's timed perfectly, okay? So it could drop on the chorus, okay? All right, so here we go. It's the beat box. It's the beat box. It's the beat box. The human beat box. The human beat box. Here we go. It's the beat box. It's the beat box. The human beat box. Always have a drone with me. I play it at the shows and they say it sounds pretty. For some strange reason, not everybody can see it. I play it while I'm singing and I clean it while I'm even Got a sound like and a sound like. If you put them both together, then it's. It took a lot of practice and it started as a hobby. And then I got 20 different drums in my body. It's the beatbox. It's the beatbox. The human beatbox. Sounds so smooth with the and then bring it back as I bust up the rap and I can keep it going cause it's smooth like that. The beat box started, let's say, in the 80s. People heard the styles with the mouth and said that's crazy. Cause you can make the sounds with the letters and the alphabet, like B's and P's and T's and other things from that sounds like doorbell rings. You see the beat box, it uses all types of things. Now we can make it go fast and make it go slow. It's so versatile that we can make it do boom. It's the beat box. The human beat box. Now we all have a million drums that's inside our chest. But be careful when you use them, you could run out of breath. Now I can easily cough, throw the beat box off, and mix the beat with the cough, and the problem is solved. <laughs> Thank you so much, my friends. Applaud online <laughs> in the comment section. Hi, right, my friends. I'm wearing, I'm right here sporting this really cool silent guitar right here and waking all my neighbors up this morning. All right, so look. Boom. So that right there is the human beat boss. I came across the human beat boss because we couldn't afford the drum set like I told you. And, um, and this right here was my instrument. So... I love this instrument. It's portable. I don't have to carry around a lot of drums because I could just have the drums in my body. All right? If you're interested in learning how to do beatbox, you can holler at me. Just go to baconbeatbox.com and sign up for the online beatboxing um, course that I'm doing, okay? Starting next week. All right, my friends. So look, you now know some serious things about hip hop. You know the origins of it. You know DJing. You know then um, that we got break dancing, dancing that dance over the break. You now know MCing, and then the MCs became the rappers. And then you got graffiti, and then now you definitely know about some beatboxing, but then you can learn how to beatbox too, okay? So look, my friends, you got that one all down packed. Let's see, what else can I tell you about hip-hop? Well, hip-hop, the way that we created music back in the day, so hip-hop started around like um, 1973, and then, and then like by like, let's see, 
um, by like 79 or something. Then it was like a mainstream genre. It was a mainstream genre of music. So what started from people that didn't really have the finances to like afford instrumentation and make this stuff up, it became a worldwide phenomenon. Now you know about it and we're doing stuff at Strathmore via my couch about hip hop. It's amazing. So the things that you do in your neighborhood could become a global thing. Okay. So look, things to keep in mind. All right. So look, because people didn't really have the money to afford instruments like myself growing up, we had to find different ways to create music. And so one of those ways were using these records, just like DJ Cool Herc created the breaks. I just extended the breaks and created music. So what people would do is they would take a record and then they would use like cassette players or something before samplers and they'll find a way to extend the breaks on one layer, then go on on the next layer, get another record and say, oh, I like Miles Davis trumpet playing a lot. I don't know Miles Davis personally and I can't have him like, you know, I can't, I don't have the money to have him play on my record. So I have his record though. And then people will find that one part of the record that they like. Oh, I like this horn part right here. Boom. And then they will let that break go for that horn. And next thing you know, you got Miles Davis, you got Miles Davis trumpet. Boom. Right there. And then you're like, oh, I really like this bass line from this bass player from Motown. Yeah. I'm going to put James Jameson on this thing. Okay. Boom, and then they put it like that. And so it's like making a collage, but you do it with sound and with records. So you put this record, this record, this record, this record, with all your favorite parts. That right there, my friends, is called sampling. So people will create entire music compositions, just like Bach, Beethoven, just by using records. I, how did they make shows in the right key? I don't know how they did it back then. It was pretty amazing. I, so go back and listen to earlier hip hop from the 80s. Go listen to Run DMC if you like that. I, so you will hear how they made this stuff work. It's all samples. Okay? So, my friends, this is what we're doing. So when I learned guitar and taught myself guitar, what I would do is I would learn all these chords. And it was just like for me sampling as well. I'm like, oh, I sample this chord. I like this chord. Okay, what, up? what happens if I have it go back and forth? But then the beat that I'm doing is like what a break, what a break beat is. All right? So you got right there. You got that right there. So now you know some composition. And then that leads to something called a remix. So a remix is when you take something that already exists and then you spin it your own way. Just like if you have a recipe for pancakes, all right? You can make a pancake the regular traditional classical way. Boom, you got a pancake. But in this case with a remix, it's like taking the pancake recipe and you put your own flavor and your own style on it. So you say, okay, um, I don't want just a regular pancake. I'm going to hook it up for you this morning. Let's see. Hmm. We're going to put... We gonna put some chocolate chips in the pancake. Then we got the chocolate chip pancake. I right, what else we gonna do? What else we gonna do? Um, some people might want to put the bacon in the pancakes. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like there you go. You got a bacon pancake with Chris Styles bacon. Pie out, easy. All right. So look, you could do all these things. How would you remix the pancake? Put it in the comment section. <laughs> I want to hear about all your remix pancakes. Okay. So look. Just like that, we would take music that already exists by sampling and we will remix something. So, with that being said, my friends, since it's a family giant, I want to do a, a remix that um, that everybody knows. I want to do, I want to remix something that everybody knows. So, I'm going to do the old school nursery rhyme, Humpty Dumpty, all right? So, that, you know Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great, all the kings, and all the kings couldn't put Humpty together again. Sad story. All right. So look, this right here is my remix of Humpty Dumpty. All right. Right here. Let me, sorry, put the hand all up in the screen right here so you can see. All right. So look, there we go. There we go. This right here is a small child size version of a West African drum called djembe. Okay. So look, I'm going to use this to play this piece. All right. Your job right here. You're gonna, all you have to do is say Humpty Dumpty, all right? So I'm gonna say, say Humpty Dumpty, Humpty Dumpty, call and response, classic in hip hop, go go music, styles of music around the world, okay? So look, put it in the comment section, I right? hit Humpty Dumpty, and when we whisper it, you gotta do it, do it in low caps, all right? Low case. And then when we get in the energy, all, all caps, all caps, all right? Here we go. I say Humpty Dumpty, Humpty. Dumpty, Humpty, Dumpty, Humpty, Dumpty, Humpty, Dumpty, 
Humpty Dumpty, hey, hey, Humpty Dumpty was sitting on the wall with our legs swinging back and forth because he wasn't very tall. He was an egg with a couple of legs. The only guy I know whose stomach was right next to his head. He liked to sit on the edge of the wall every afternoon, waiting for the butter stick. He always chill, but after school now, I say chill because it was one of her rules because the butter stick come out, so he had to play it cool. Say Humpty Dumpty, Humpty Dumpty. I say Humpty Dumpty, Humpty Dumpty, now, but this time he had work to do, so his mother said, you better come home right after school, he heard his mom talking in the back of his mind, and decided to say, work away, I'll be just fine, then his friend Lady Butterstick walked outside, took five minutes climbing the wall just to say hi, the egg and the Butterstick loved to dance to help us, so instead of speaking English, they started speaking in beatbox, <laughs> Say Humpty Dumpty, Humpty Dumpty, louder now, Humpty Dumpty, Humpty Dumpty, Humpty Dumpty. Now the sun went down and all the schools were closed. The egg checked his time on his cellular phone. His mom got off at five from work, so he said no, cause it was quarter to nine. He posted Ben back home, so Humpty Dumpty got hot. Your boy started sweating, cause he broke a root and he was gonna learn a lesson. He turned to his left and said, where's Lady Butterstick? But Butterstick's a Butterstick, so all the buttermilk. And to a puddle, the kid's in deep trouble. He turned to his right and slipped and said, uh-oh. He fell off the wall and hit the ground. The Butterstick was melted down and nobody's around. They screamed, Humpty Dumpty, Humpty Dumpty, Humpty Dumpty, Humpty And now there were no king horses and there were no men. So your boy Humpty Dumpty got scrambled in the end. So that right there is the sad tale of Humpty Dumpty. Remix right there. All right, so look, now you know the five elements of hip hop. How hip hop came to be. You know what a remix is. You can create your own remixes, my friends. Look, all you just need to do is get something else that you feel really excited about in life. Some type of nursery rhyme, a story. Create your own version of it. Simple as that, my friends. All right, let me make sure I'm still on point. Let's look at our time. All right. If you have any questions about some of the things that you're hearing and seeing, my friends, please drop it in the comment section and, and we're going to make that happen like a true captain. I did see in, in the comments as I was passing that it is someone's birthday over here. Oh, no, it's tomorrow. I look. This is what I want you to do. Find me, Carla. It's your daughter's birthday tomorrow. So look. I would like to do a special happy birthday for your daughter. Send me a message. Find me on Facebook or find me on Instagram or, um, or Twitter at Chris Stiles Bacon. And I would like to do something personally for your little one, okay? For tomorrow, right there on the birthday. Boom, okay? All right, so look. Here we go. Let's see. Boom, 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 boom. All right, my friends. Look, I only have five minutes left of performance for you all. I. I would like to stay around to answer any questions that you all have about some of the things that we're talking about here. First, I look, quick one, I'm about to adjust real quick. All right, here we go, adjustment. Yay, without crazy like um, sound difficulties, okay? So look, my friends, you now know about the remix, the five elements of hip hop, the birth of hip hop, it comes from New York, New York City in the South Bronx, um, from the Soundview of pro um, um, Projects, and um, by DJ Cool Herb, who is from Jamaica, all right? So look, my friends, now I would like to talk to you about, for the last thing, the different skill sets that people have to um, develop in hip hop. So for DJing, of course, you got to know how to DJ. You got to know how to take two records and blend them together to make a party nice and lively. All right? You got to know how to control the energy in the space. Now for DJing for hip hop, you got to know how to extend the breaks, okay? So that means syncing up one record, letting that go, and then while that's happening, you got to sync up the next record. Then let that go, okay? So we have another thing called scratching. That's when a person takes this one part of the record and goes back and then forth. All right? So if you look up turntablism or scratching in YouTube for um, records and DJs, you will see the amazing things that people do to manipulate records and almost control it as an instrument. My favorite DJ, my favorite DJ, and he's actually in this area. He's called DJ Two-Tone Jones. 
Man, look him up. He's a he's an amazing DJ, okay? And a lot of times when I do performances with my ensemble, my orchestra, he's DJing and killing it. It's like it's like having a saxophonist, but with just records. It's amazing, okay? So you gotta learn how to scratch, right? For the MC, you gotta learn how to rhyme. For the breakdancer, you gotta know how to do all of these moves, okay? And all these spins. Look up breakdancing on YouTube. It's amazing. So there's breaking, breakdancing, um, the New York style, and then in the West Coast, you had two separate styles, one called popping and one called locking. I right, locking is like it's like a really energetic style. I can't really do it while sitting down, but look up dance, hip hop dance, locking. And then look up popping. Popping deals with like body isolation. So it's like you go like this, like this, like this. And then you create like a waveform. I can't really do it like that. <laughs> I'm not a break dancer. But look, look that up. Popping is one dance form. Locking is another form. And breaking, the, the one from New York, is the original one right there. All right? So popping and locking evolved out of funk music in, in um, like California in the West Coast. So... As an MC, you got to learn how to control the energy of the party. You got to learn how to, um, you know, if some people are getting a little too rowdy. You got to learn how to calm them down. OK, if people like to like uh, no energy, you got to learn how to make them alive again. OK, and you got to engage the people. You engage the people by talking about what's happening right now in the moment. All right. And to talk about what's happening right now in the moment, it's called improvisation. You're improvising. Now, when you're improvising in hip hop and you're doing it to music while rhyming, that's then called freestyling. So, look, this is what I would like to do to end this presentation on the musical part of the presentation on Discovery Hip Hop, all right? For Strathmore's Family Jam series here. All right, so look, I'm going to do a game that I started doing when I was in high school at Duke Ellington School of the Arts in Washington, D.C. This is what it's called. It's called the Freestyle Olympics. We take 10 random words from our people in the audience and we make them rhyme and somehow make it make sense. So look, this is my job for you all in the comment section. I want you to take, give me one random word, okay? It doesn't have to rhyme with the next word, but it has to be a random word, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to go in the comment section, find that word, take it, write it down, and I'm going to have to use that word in the freestyle, okay? All right, so look, let me scroll real quick. And see what I got going on. All right, my friends. Bombs away. Go ahead and put those words down there. All right, we have Rachel coming through with the first word, snake. Thank you so much. All right. Okay. And we have mama. Okay, that's a that's a perfect, that's a fitting one. We have cloud. We have samba. Hey, samba's from Brazil, if you don't know. I vacuum. Oh, they coming fast, y'all. I I see celebrate and peace. Hold on. Now we about to cap this really early. I yeah, y'all on point with it. Let's see. I Oh, daffodil. Hey. I don't think I ever heard daffodil in a um in a rhyme before. Shout out to Betty Scott for creating the Arts and Residence program and for putting Daffodil on there. Hey, we got Josanne Francis coming through with Calypso because she's going to be playing some bomb Calypso for you all next Saturday. Is it next Saturday, right, for the jam? Yep, she's going to kill it. So y'all need to be there. Well, you're already there because you're in your house, but you just got to be on Saturday on this here page. All right, and we have Quarantine, Payal. All right, y'all. Great job at being in the house and keeping everything entertaining and educational, all right? So, look, how many words we got, man? So, look, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, the last one, y'all. The last one. Right after quarantine, we got Teresa over here. Teresa Sterling. In the house. Literally in the house. In, in, in her house. My house is just, it's just me. Okay. <laughs> And all of y'all, all 95 of y'all right now, I we have house. I'm sorry, we have class. I just got distracted because Liz uh, Whitehead just put houseboat. I don't think I ever heard. I'm not used to hearing those combination of words together, houseboat. I don't know that life. I'm from Southeast D.C. We don't have, well, we have water. We have Anacostia Ribbon, the Potomac, but we don't have um, plenty of houseboats over here. I... Here we go, my friends. I'm going to pick up my miniature djembe real quick. 
I got all 10 of the words for y'all, okay? So look, we're going beyond the 45 minute mark, all right? Into, into the crazy land of improvised music, okay? Hold on, let me see if I could just enhance this situation. All right, adjustment warning, boom. All right, let me back y'all off right here. All right, maybe I can see this a little better. Look, you can see the top of my head now. Okay, cool. And it's drum. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take all of your words, all 10 of your words, 11, because I gotta include Bo, Bo House. I'm sorry, that, that thing is just like, it's, it's so fascinating to me. <laughs> all right, so here we go. Let me enlarge the font real quick. Boom. All right, y'all, we're ready to get down. I, I got the words over here. Boom. So look, I'm going to start with the beat. It starts with the heartbeat. It starts with the beat first. Hip hop music started with the beat, with the break. So this right here is the foundation of our music, okay? So the first word we have, I'm going to recap all of the words before I use them in the round. The first word we got is snake. After that, we have mama. After mama, we have cloud. After cloud, we have vacuum. After vacuum, we got celebrate, peace, daffodil, calypso, quarantine, class. And then for 10 extra Kool-Aid points, we got bow house. So love, my friends, what I want you to do first, Make sure you link all the homies, okay? Send them this video, and even after we're live, send them the video if you think they find this entertaining, okay? So look, link the homies in. We about to do this freestyle, okay? Will I make all of these words rhyme and make sense? I don't know. Pray for your boy. All right, here we go. Your job. Call the response. Let's go in the comment section, all right? Here we go. I say freestyle. A freestyle, freestyle. Freestyle, a freestyle, freestyle. Come on, freestyle. A freestyle, freestyyle. A freestyle, come on, say freestyle, a freestyle, freestyle. Lowercase, say freestyle, 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 type freestyle, freestyle, freestyle. Hey, my name is Chris Styles, begging what moves to make. Why chilling in the crib, laying down like a snake on the ground when I do this here freestyle. You could look me up and find my profile. And that's how I do it, hold it down, freestyling without drama. This is skill I acquired from my mama, who was a DJ back in her day and now she got the skills and threw it this way to me and now i'm creating a sound that all comes down on my mind like a cloud just like that with the freestyle i make room when i come through like a vacuum doing all these joints when we got moves to make you could stop you could dj and you could break do these things and you make it sound great this is how we bring it together hip-hop we celebrate the next word we have coming through none the least after this i'm going to hop the straight say peace that's the word you gave me flip because we're not lazy take all of the words and make it rhyme it's kind of crazy but still we make it rhyme and we kill stop for a second and enjoy the daffodils hey because they um blooming right now coming on right now with the sound is chris styles um with the freestyle flow when we rock it like a pro come through next saturday to hear a little bit of Calypso from Jose and Francis. This is how we go with the freestyle like a mantis. I'm chilling on the freestyle, make a killing with the freestyle again. And we yo, we building the next word up when we killing in the scene on strap. More going live because we doing this for quarantine. A with the freestyle, rocking for the mass. Thank you for coming to the class. After that, a brother going to straight up bounce because I'm going to have to chill in the boat house. My bad, I got the two words straight flipped up straight backwards, but we going to flip on our own. Core cuz <clears throat> my bad I had to clear my throat like I was inhaling the mist from the house on the boat. There you go. <laughs> my friends, those are all of your words right there. That is a freestyle, it is improvised. What you do when you first start to do that is you start off slow and then you start beating up and doing it with the beat. You have to worry about Finding a train of thought, taking that first word that rhymes, that's going to be a rhyming word. The next word, finding what words that make, your, that make your rhyme and chaining those things together. So we're doing it in real time. Sometimes you mess up and you got to find out how, 
how you can make even the mess ups work. Okay, so it's not that you fall, but it's how you recover from that fall. You could just fall on the ground and be like, Psh, ah. but what if you fall in a way where it's like, Psh, and then you kind of roll and get back up and you make it almost like choreography. That's what you're doing when you're freestyling all the time. Okay, so you're doing that with your thoughts and you're doing that with the music. All right, my friends, you learn learn so many things about hip hop today. We learned about the the birthplace of hip hop. In South Bronx, the South Bronx borough of New York City, created by this guy, DJ Cool Hurt from Jamaica, Jamaican immigrant, created this here style of music I, at, his, at his sister's birthday party in 1973. Then after that, you have the DJ. We talked about the five elements of hip hop. You have the DJ. Boom. After that, you had the person that danced over the music that the DJ will play called a break. And we have the break beat. And so the person that dances over the break beat, break dancers, B boys and B girls, break boys and break girls. Then after that, the person that will kind of host the thing and keep the party flowing is the MC, the master of ceremonies, now known as the rapper because they will say raps, okay? Which is an old term from the 70s, right? Like, oh yeah, go ahead, go ahead, kick your rap, right? And then after that, you have graffiti. And that right there is the visual arts um, component of hip hop. And then you have my element, my personal favorite, beatboxing. All right? So if you want to learn how to beatbox, check out my online beatbox course right there. That's about to happen. Open enrollment is starting next week at Bacon Beatbox. All right? And then what else we have going on? We learned about remixing, taking something that already exists and putting your own stamp on it. That's a remix. And the way we will make um, music in hip hop, even to this day, we will use other source material. We use other records and sounds to create our own thing. And that right there is how we would do composition by remixing. My friends, I think I think that are all the things. And then we learned about freestyling. Y'all know that. Now, my friends, I love we're overtime, but I like to stay overtime for you all. If you have any questions, I would love to answer these joints for you. Okay? So look, put them in the comment section, my friend. Let's see. All right. All right, so for tomorrow, tomorrow Jordan. My bad if I'm butchering names, okay? So look, um, tomorrow, Jordan, can I see your guitar? I play the guitar and it looks cool. Oh yeah, I showed you that a little earlier. So look, my friend, we have the Yamaha Silent guitar right here. So this right here, <laughs> we got some pieces missing. It's an electric guitar right here, but this one has nylon strings um, and a wider neck because it's like a classical style. And then it plugs up back here. And it has built-in reverb and different effects right up in here. And you can plug in a headphone jack into this and listen. So this is how I practice guitar late at night in the in the apartment building and not like and not like interrupt in like my neighbor's sleep. Okay? So yeah, the Yamaha Silent Guitar. So look that up online. Paya. I Amanda Sweet, what's happening? Okay. Am I offering Zoom lessons? Yo, I am offering lessons. So look. I'm offering lessons with the human beatbox right now. And then I'm also thinking about doing lessons for spoons. I also play spoons. Man, it's a fun thing to do, okay? Just hit me up about that and, um, and find me and just boom. And I'll send you information on that. For the beatbox online course, I'm doing that. So I'm going to start enrollment next week. Just type in bacon beatbox and then put your email down. I'm going to send you all the information for beatbox. Beatboxing is an amazing thing to learn um, by yourself with your family. You just got to make sure that you... Right there, okay? So you ain't getting spit on people, okay? Very important. All right? So let's see. Those are those. Any other questions, my friends? Any other questions? Okay, I'm checking real quick. Allow me time to scroll. Scroll through this thing. Liz Whitehead, thank you so much for being out here. Rocking the houseboat. All right, what else we got here? Right, searching for the final questions. Yo, how do you start practicing at? I hey Kathy, so look, how do you start practicing at home, man? I right, so look, just hit me, just hit me up, bacon beatbox. Put all that information down there, and and we're gonna make that happen. I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna hit you up with the beatbox lessons. It's gonna be on and cracking. I right, so I got you right there. So cool. I right, any other questions? Speak now or for. Not forever hold your peace. This is social media. You can hit me up at any time. All right? So, there we go. All right, I'm going to come back and I'm going to check your questions later. Share with a friend if they write anything and have any questions down. We're going to come back and we're going to respond to those questions, okay? My friends, thank you so much 
for being such a great audience in your crib. You can see this video, June. You can see this from the beginning, okay? So just come back and check it out. They're going to repost this thing. Bow. It's going to be on. You can catch the whole thing. Right? And if you have questions from that point on, I'll come back and answer them. I'm here for you. And you can find me on the internet, man. Just type in Chris Dallas Bacon and, um, and you'll find me, okay? My name should be mentioned in the stream. So, my friends, you learned all those things about hip-hop. Now, I want to make sure you know about all the amazing things that are about to go down and happen with Strathmore. So, look, just give me, give me a quick second to have all the things that you need. Here we go. All right, my friend. So, look, thank you for tuning in. Look, I want you to come back next Saturday, all right? Next Saturday, same time, all right? 1015 on the scene right here to check out Discover T Steel Pan with Jose and Francis, all right? So, look, Steel Pan comes from Trinidad. My friends, Steel Pan is amazing. You're going to get all types of Caribbean flavor. Jose and Francis is amazing. She's like expert, high level Steel Pan, my friends. It's going to be amazing. That's going to be an interesting thing to see, all right? So, look, and also, Today, Strathmore is hosting an online exhibition tour for kids. Today at 11.50 a.m. Right here on the same page that you're catching this journal, all right? But I'm going to repost it. So go to the Strathmore page, too, and you're going to catch that. All right, so look. Plug yourself. I will be plugging myself. So look. Find me, Chris Styles Bacon. So at C-H-R-I-S-T-Y-L-E-Z. I'm going to put it in the comment section right now so that you catch me. All right, so I'm just going to type my name up because I have a hip-hop slash hood spelling right there. All right, Chris Dallas Bacon, just look for the Strathmore joint. You'll see my name right there. Sorry for the thing in the screen. All right, so look, my friends, there's going to be more info placed in the links and stuff. Hit me up, my friends. Y'all be easy out here. Stay safe. Take care of our young people. Take care of our elders, my friends, and, and stay tuned. And come back here at 11.30 and come back next Saturday to catch Joanne, Joseanne Francis. All right? Peace, my friends. Y'all have a good one.